हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर उमेश कुमार आर्या फैकल्टी ऑफ मीडिया स्टडीज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फर्दर एसोसिएशन बिटवीन द वेरिएबल्स हेयर इन द एस पी एस एस दिस एसोसिएशन इज मच मोर देन द डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टैटिस्टिक्स दैट इज फ्रिक्वेंसी and the cross tabulation this research publication or the research data relates to the coverage of advertisements in the business newspaper so this is the variable of newspaper these are the ad categories ad products position color of the advertisements so far it is the qualitative data that uh, means the data has been categorized into the categories but on the right side you will see that data is in the quantitative form so what statistics can be applied here to make out something from this data file we can compare the mean spaces of the space given by the newspapers or we can compare the means of the space given to the different advertisement categories and we can compare the means of the space given to the products and we can compare the means of the space given to the ear panel anchor pointer ear panel position of the advertisements like there are so many possibilities with this data so right now we are going to perform a test which will compare the means of the space given by the newspapers we'll go to statistics then compare means so these are four forms of the compare means test one sample t test means it has only one column of quantitative data and it will tell you it will come out with the mean space of that single column data and it will find the association between uh the quantitative values so this is not the case right now with us the second is independent sample t test in this independent sample t test we have two columns of the quantitative data and we would compare the means of these two columns so this is also not the case with us right now because our one variable is the qualitative that is categorized and the second one is in the quantitative form so this test cannot be applied so we would go to the paired sample t test paired sample t test is applied in the cases only when we are conducting any training for some persons and we find the performance of uh, the people at the beginning of the training and at the end of the training and we compare the two values we compare the two da data sets and that tells us whether our training had an significant effect on the persons or the participants or not so right now this is also not the case with us so one way anova is the answer to this we would click this first we would select the newspaper here in the factor and uh, we have a variable of the space and we would keep it on the dependent list because this space is a dependent variable 
on the newspaper that is the independent variable so we would click the post hook and we would click this LSD and then continue and then OK before pressing OK we should keep in mind that this space this is the complete space given to all the news items or the advertisements items by the all newspapers so it should not that you have split the data like this column tells us the space given by the economic times to the advertisement so since these cells are empty because this advertisement does not relate to the economic times it relates to the business faster but all these values they should be in one data one data column that is they should not be the different column quantitative values they should be clubbed under a single column that is space and we have selected that so we would click the OK button now yeah here is the analysis the association is significant so before analyzing the result of ANOVA we would make a null hypothesis null hypothesis in this case is that there is no significant difference between the spaces mean spaces given by the newspapers this is our null hypothesis I repeat this we have coined the null hypothesis which says that there is no significant difference in the mean spaces given by the newspapers and we would come to the detailed analysis significance is zero so it says that between the mean space given by the business standard Hindi and the business standard English there is a significant difference in the means score here in this case economic times versus business standard Hindi there is still a significant difference in the means because the value should be above point 05 in order to infer that there is no significant difference between the mean spaces of the two newspapers so most of the values they are near zero so we can deduce that there is no there is significant difference in the mean scores value see in this case business Bhaskar versus economic times the value is 0 0.171 which is much much higher than 0 0.05 and it can be analyzed it can be uh, inferred that the mean space given by business Bhaskar and the economic times they do not differ significantly and there is a association between these two uh, if you compare the mean difference even then this uh, difference would be known to you like it is minus 47 for business Bhaskar and economic Hello, times this is Dr. Kumar Arya, Faculty of Media Studies. whereas in the 0 0.00 value this difference is much higher this is minus 1 59.68 so it itself speaks that the, this difference is the significant one like this difference is the significant one and it is also statistically proved by the significance value here
so friends we can find out the compare means value through post hoc ANOVA test which will tell us the means mean compare means value between a quantitative data and the qualitative data it means one of the variable is qualitative that is the grouping of the groups and another one is the qualitative one that is the space so it will compare the means like we can compare the means of we can take out this newspaper now and we can insert some other variable like advertisements categories and then we can continue with our analysis further analysis so again it is the significance is 0 0.00 it means the mean difference between the advertising categories space is highly different it means there is no significant difference between the space given to the different types of items of the advertising categories so friends this was the one way ANOVA it is specifically used in the management sciences where uh, quantitative data is more important for management people but in the communication research uh, at very few places this is used when we uh, find the space given to the particular news item or the advertisement so in that case we can use this thank you very much friends thanks for watching